Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to my YouTube channel, Global Healthy Living. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, women's cancers, or call them uh, the reproductive uh, system cancers. Uh, when I talk about women cancers, uh, I mean uh, these cancers that start in a woman's reproductive system. These cancers uh, are called gynecological cancers. This is because they start in a reproductive system of a woman. Uh, there are many uh, types of these cancers, but I'm going to talk about uh, the five common uh, gynecological cancers. The first gynecological cancer is cervical cancer. The cervical cancer happens when the abnormal uh, cells in the lining of the cervix grow in an uh, uncontrollable way and then eventually causes a tumor. The second gynecological cancer is uh, ovarian cancer. Ovarian cancer begins in the ovaries and the ovaries are, are located on each side of the uterus. The third gynecological cancer is the vaginal cancer. It is very rare but it starts in the vagina. Another gynecological cancer is the cancer of the vulva or call it vulvo cancer. This type of cancer develops uh, along uh, a one's external genital organs or around the area of the opening of the vagina. So this uh, type of cancer, the vulvo cancer, uh, starts from there. So uh, what are the symptoms of uh, these five types of cancers? Uh, most of these cancers have some symptoms, but they differ in one way or the other. So I've combined all the symptoms uh, to make it easier for you uh, in that in case you experience any of these symptoms or some of these symptoms, you know that you have a gynecological cancer. Uh, one of the symptoms of a gynecological cancer is unusual vaginal bleeding. This bleeding can be uh, between periods, it can be during or after uh, intercourse, it can be uh, after menopause, or it can be very heavy. If you have such kind of abnormal bleeding, please uh, go to your doctor for a checkup. The second symptom of gynecological cancers is uh, pain or discomfort during uh, sex. Of course, uh, this pain can be caused by other conditions, but it's very important for you not to ignore because it can also be uh, a sign of uh, gynecological cancer. Another symptom uh, or sign of uh, gynecological cancer is a vaginal discharge that smells unpleasant. If you have that, please uh, go for a checkup. It can be an infection or it can be a gynecological cancer. Another uh, symptom is a uh, pressure or pain in the pelvic area. If you experience that, uh, run to your doctor. Another symptom is uh, bloating or an increase in the size of your abdomen. If you experience bloating or uh, an increase in the size of your belly, please go to the doctor. If you feel a lump in your vagina, don't sit home. It can be a gynecological cancer. Another symptom is feeling full quickly while eating. Please don't just take it light. 
that you feel full, you eat very little and you feel full, it may be due to a gynecological cancer. Another symptom is a vaginal itch that won't go away. If you feel itching, of course, uh, some other conditions, infections can cause itching, but if this itching doesn't go away, uh, please don't just sit home. Go for a medical checkup. Another symptom is uh, a mole that changes uh, in size or color. If you have such a mole, please, around your uh, vagina, please, or vulva, please, don't just sit, go for a checkup. Another symptom is uh, if you have um, changes in the color of your skin around uh, the opening of your vagina or around your vulva, please, uh, it's important for you to go for a checkup. Another symptom uh, of uh, gynecological cancer is uh, a thickened or raised red or white or dark patches on the skin of your vulva. If you have such, please don't sit home. It may be due to a gynecological cancer. There are of course other symptoms like uh, tiredness that is unexplainable or it can be weight loss which you can't explain or it can be loss of appetite. If you have such, please go for a checkup. It may be a sign of uh, gynecological cancers. So what are the risk factors of gynecological cancers or what causes gynecological cancers or women's cancers? Number one is inherited faulty genes. If you come from a family that has a history of cancer patients, you are at a higher risk of getting a gynecological cancers. Secondly is age. The older you become, the higher chances you have uh, to get gynecological cancers. The third risk factor is previous cancers. If you've ever had cancers, like for example, if you had breast cancer, then you are also at a risk of getting uh, gynecological cancer uh, in the lifetime. Uh, another risk factor is smoking. If you smoke, you risk to get gynecological cancers. Uh, another factor is uh, a weakened immune system. If you have a suppressed immune system, you are at a higher risk of getting gynecological cancers. Uh, more so is human papilloma virus. If you are infected with this kind of virus, uh, human papilloma virus or HPV, you are likely to get uh, gynecological cancers. Another uh, factor is HIV infection. If you have HIV or AIDS, you have a high risk of getting uh, gynecological cancers. More to that is uh, being overweight or obese. Women who are overweight or who are obese tend to get uh, gynecological cancers uh, if we compare to women who are not overweight. Another factor is uh, chronic vulva uh, skin conditions and inflammation. If you have such, then you are at a higher risk of getting gynecological cancer. Uh, if you are also using uh, hormone replacement therapy, uh, in short HRT, after menopause, you are likely uh, to get uh, gynecological cancer. Uh, there are many ways also to prevent getting gynecological cancer. Like for instance, 
we can uh, take vaccines for HPV, human papilloma virus. This vaccine against HPV uh, helps you or helps a woman not to get a cervical cancer, a vaginal cancer, and cancer of the vulva. So it is very important and it's actually recommended to give it to children, to girls when they're still young, and to adolescents that have not yet engaged in uh, sexual practices. This uh, vaccine is really, really good uh, to protect you against human papillomavirus. So if you have that, then you reduce the risk of getting gynecological cancer. Secondly is uh, cervical screening. Please, ladies, if you are invited uh, for cervical screening, go, go for this checkup. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's very good if we compare to cancer. It even doesn't take 10 minutes. It is very short, but it helps to detect if you have HPV. It helps to detect if you have cell changes around your cervix that can cause cancer. So please go for cervical screening. It's really, really good for you. Another preventive measure of a gynecological cancer is having protected sex. Please, women, have protected sex. Because if you have protected sex, you protect yourself against catching STDs like HPV, like HIV. So then, if you do that, you prevent the risk of getting gynecological cancers. Another measure that can help you to prevent gynecological cancer is stop smoking. Ladies, please stop smoking. Smoking brings a lot of diseases, including gynecological cancers. Also do physical exercises. It helps you to reduce the risk of getting these cancers. And last but not least, uh, see a medical doctor. If you come from a family that have history of cancer patients. Because if you do that, uh, the doctor is able to help you, to check you regularly, to see if there is any changes in the cells uh, around your reproductive uh, system. Thank you so much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel, share this video and uh, comment, like and uh, invite others to join this channel because it teaches you how to uh, improve your health and how to prevent diseases. Thank you.